about to save another marriage with this oven braised barbecue pulled pork girl let's get started all right so first thing i did was i put some slap your mom on it you can put whatever seasoning you want on your pork roast uh, this is about a five pound pork roast with the bone in it. You can see the bone down there. Uh, small enough to fit in my little Dutch oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in a Dutch oven with the fat side up. I'm gonna cover it. Cover it, we're gonna put it in the oven at 300 degrees. Probably gonna take about, I'm guessing about three to four hours. We'll check it and see what we got. All right, girl. It's been in the oven for three hours uh at 300 degrees so we're going to check it and see what we got okay uh i have to correct myself earlier i called this a pork roast this is not a pork roast okay it's a pork butt pork butt do not do this with a pork roast because it's going to dry it, well i don't know it'd probably be tender but it, you, you ain't gonna make no pulled pork with pork roast okay you're gonna you want to use a pork butt or a, um what do they call that other one girl the one that's got the skin on it. I forget, girl. But anyway, this is a pork butt. <laughs> okay. So, so, ooh, it's nice and brown. Okay, so the way we're going to test this, three hours at 300 degrees, you have to give it a fork test. You stick it in there, and then if you twist it, and it come and the meat comes out easily, that means it's done, okay? So see how it's spinning the roast? That's not tender enough. It's not ready. That's not ready. It should just, when I twisted that, the whole thing should have just fell off. That's not tender enough really for, this is fine if you want to slice it and just eat sliced pork roast, but we want to pull pork, girl. Let's taste it. Mm. Mm, that's good. Okay. But I'm going to put it back in for another hour because I want it real tender for pulled pork. All right, girl, we just put it back in there for another hour. Let's see where we're at now. Okay. The steam go away from you. We're gonna give this pork butt another spin test. Okay, so you stick your fork in it, you spin it, girl, and if it easily, oh yeah, see? See how that just spun out like that? That is done, that's okay for pulled pork. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna leave the lid off of it turn our oven off and you're just gonna let it cool for at least i don't know about an hour hour and a half maybe two hours just leave it uncovered leave it alone let it cool down to like room temperature so we can uh separate it or uh, pull it girl we're gonna pull our port <laughs> all right girl our roast has been sitting for about an hour what i did is i took it out and put it on a plate so it could cool faster and i poured off uh, all the excess oil that was in there. Okay. Uh, you can leave the oil. You can leave the oil in there if you want. It's your arteries, girl, but <laughs> I took it out. And then this fat on top, okay, you can take that out too. What I do is just take the, the top layer because I want that crispiness with the seasoning on it. I just set it aside, put it over here. Alright, so I'm gonna throw that back in there. But the rest of this underneath, if you wanna cut back on your fat a little bit, you can just take it off like that. Just scrape it. It should come off real easy, okay? Uh, and then, okay, pulled pork is just that. That's why they call it pulled pork. You're supposed to be able to grab it and just pull it. See, that's where the pulled pork comes from. Uh, but, girl, <laughs> I just use forks, okay? <laughs> just shred this shit up that way you don't get your fingers hot you don't get your fingers greasy okay now just take a fork and just kind of shred it like that okay we'll get it off that bone now this is the side that has the bone in it it's got a big ass bone in here so we're just gonna Shred our meat, take the bone, take the meat off the back side, take the meat out of this cavity here. See how it just falls? That's fall off the bone, girl. Then you can save this for your little uh, pooch hound, your dog, if you want. 
too big for my dogs. Okay. So now I'm going to throw my uh, crispy fat back in there because I want to. I don't want to miss that crispy seasoned up fat. Okay. Let me just shred your meat up a little bit. And girl, that's basically it, pulled pork. Okay, now, since this wasn't on a barbecue pit, we'd be done if it was on a pit, okay? Because it'd be smoky and delicious and all that, okay? But since we cooked this in a, a, a Dutch oven, we don't have no smoke taste to it. And people say, you can use liquid smoke. I'm not a fan of liquid smoke. So what I do is after I get my shit shredded, girl, then you're gonna hit it with a uh, barbecue sauce. It's got some smoke flavor in it. Like this one. This is my favorite to put on pork stubs. I like stubs. I got a sexy black man on the front. Girl, they really should put him in a UPS uniform. Be more sexy, but anyway. Um, Smoky mesquite flavor barbecue sauce, okay? So what I do, I think this is the best brand for pork. Now you can just put this on a sandwich or eat it however you want and then put the barbecue sauce on top. Whatever, girl. It's your kitchen, okay? I like to go ahead and just pour it all up on my pork like that, okay? Now it's ready to go. You can feed it to people like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a toss. So now you got the smokiness in the meat. You don't need to smoke it on a pit. Okay. Put a little barbecue sauce on it like that, girl. Now you got pulled pork. You can put this on a hamburger bun, toast you a hamburger bun with a little butter. Put some of this pork on there with some onion and a pickle. Shit, girl. <laughs> and then serve it to your man while he's watching the football game. Girl, he's... <laughs> You'll save your marriage so fast. So that's how we do it, girl. I think we just saved another marriage. Let's build us a sandwich. I think I'm going to build a sandwich with this. All right, let's taste test it, girl. I got a little bit here in a little glass dish. Let's see what we got. Smells badass. Super tender. Look at that, girl. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. -hmm. That is unbelievable. <laughs> that, is, that is unbelievable. Mmm. 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 That'd be good on a sandwich. That'd be good just on a plate next to some barbecue beans and potato salad. Girl, you don't need no pit. Okay? I don't have a pit, Steve. I can't make pulled pork. Girl, yes, you can. You got an oven. You got one of these Dutch oven thingies. <sighs> Somebody's here, girl. It's probably the UPS man. I gotta let you go. See you in the next video, girl. <laughs> like and subscribe.